So now let's have a look at the project that .NET generated for us. As we did in our console project, we also have a solution and a project. And a solution can contain multiple projects. If we go to our projects folder, we can see our solution file, which is an SLN file. If you right click on that file and open it with notes, you can see that it contains information about the projects that are part of the solution and other pieces of configuration that are out of the scope of this course. And if you click on the project file, we also have configuration, for example, the target frameworks, Net6 Android, Net6 iOS, Windows, and so on. And those frameworks will also be visible in the dependencies folder. And this area contains information about anything that our project depends on to run, such as packages and libraries, both external and provided by .NET. Then we have our properties folder, which by default comes with a launch settings.json file, which contains information about how this project is going to run. And then we have our platforms folder. And this is where we write any code that's specific to different platforms. We're using one code base for all different platforms. However, sometimes we might want specific behaviors in specific platforms. So we might override the behavior in our main code base. The resources folder will contain files such as images, fonts, styling files, and splash screens. The next file is the app.xaml. There are different ways to create user interfaces with MAUI. One of them is purely using c -sharp, and we can also use Blazor, which is also outside of the scope of this course. And the one that we're using is called XAML. XAML is a markup language created by Microsoft used specifically for user interfaces to interact with c -sharp. Markup languages use tags to define elements in a document. And the most common of them you probably already know, which is HTML. And typically, there will be a XAML file and a XAML.cs file. The first one dealing with the user interface and the second one with the logic. And that's a pattern called code behind. And by default, the basic MAUI project comes with an app.xaml file and its correspondent code behind. And this is a class where we put all the resources that we want to be used by all different pages in our program. And we can see in the code behind file for the app.xaml a property called main page which is assigned to an app shell class. And this is a class that holds the visual structure of our program. And it's also where we deal with routing, which is the navigation between pages, and with searching across the pages of our app. Then we have the main page, which is where in this initial app, the elements that can be seen on the user interface are declared. So we can see here an image, a couple of labels, and a button. And one of the greatest things about XAML is that when we are working on the UI elements, we can instantly see the changes without having to restart the program. So let's see this in action by changing one of the labels. The result will pop up on the screen straight away. And this button increments a counter, and we can see the logic for this counter in the code behind file, the main page.xaml.cs. If we put a breakpoint on line 13 and click on the button, the execution will stop and we can examine the data being sent. And of course, we're going to explain what's going on here later. And last but not least, we have the MAUI program.cs. And this is where we hold configurations about fonts, services, which are classes with functionalities that we want to share across multiple classes, and external libraries. So this was our tour of a basic MAUI project. And if you want to go deeper into each of these files, have a look at the links in the show notes below. And before we start coding, let's delete the contents of this app. So let's go into the main page.xaml.cs and delete all the code inside the class. And in the main page.xaml file, we're also going to delete the contents, except for the content page tag. And since this is a very simple app designed with the purpose of teaching basic C Sharp, we're going to delete all the folders related to other platforms. So we're going to select all the folders except for Windows and delete. And then we need to go to our project file and delete the references to those platforms. So we delete the top target frameworks tag and the supported platform tag for each platform. And one last step is to go back to the app shell.xaml and delete the title attribute of the shell content tag so that the initial UI is totally empty. Once that's done, we can run the program and the result is a blank canvas, a totally empty page, and we are ready to start creating our game.